Okay, so I do have a devlog, but the problem is that it doesn't capture all of the details that come behind this, so it only shows the final result. So I was thinking it might be interesting to see how exactly I achieved it and the best way is to literally rewrite it all, not from scratch, but close enough. So basically my system that I currently have isn't perfect. I I literally just wrote it in several days and I want to really make it better. So what I will do, I will go to the project. I also opened this project uh, and started building. So you can see that there is already some stuff going on. So first things first, what's already here? So I copied over. So begin with just some stuff that I just adapted from old code and the first one is just the registries all of the blocks and items that i've added before i just copied them because how you can read it is you have the block name which is bubble bench in this case this is the documentation for the block so it's going to be displayed in game so if i go to see it's just a list of all of the possible blocks that i can use i can obviously add more but Currently I have barrel for stuff like contain for bubble bench, chain is used for the trash can, and then void is for everything else that doesn't fit. I just use structure void, which is not great because you can break it with just a single click. But this is a limitation that I have to deal with. Now I have sound, which determines the sound that's going to be played whenever you place a block. I mean right now it only plays when you place something but maybe in the future it will be used for more stuff now soft is just wool i made it soft instead of wool because wool and wood sound too similar so it was harder to see in code now the way i'm jumping here because i'm using new in by the way is gd to just show me where i defined it control o is great because it always jumps you back wherever you are so i can jump across without having to worry about losing where i used to be now facing determines where it's going to face so now means it's just going to be facing north player means that it's going to try to face the player you have normal which is simply if you look at these as three blocks based on where you hover your mouse and click it's going to be the opposite of that side if that makes sense now no wall normal is the same as normal except it checks that if you place on the floor or on the ceiling it's going to just remove it because it can't be placed on the floor or the ceiling so it's used for stuff like shelves now door is just used for padlock keys to rotate the same as the door underneath now going back i have recipe which is uh, an array that release in python world um, it contains recipe recipes so all they do is group which is a block or an item then the name then how much of that item you need and then all of these are just functions that i wrote to help me so this one for example uh, it prints out the description that you get whenever you hover over a block now and the entry is what minecraft will use to get all of the existing blocks all right going all the way back i have tags so tags help me optimize things so for example bubble bench uses gui which is when you can open a container it's gonna show you something you can click on stuff and obviously you don't want to check if player clicked something unless they open something that uses gui so it has a tag now brightness fix makes so that the the block is going to glow now it's an it's a workaround because if you put an entity inside of a solid block it's going to be just blacked out and in order to fix this i have to make them glow not every 
So that's why I only added it as a tag. So for example, table doesn't need that fix because it doesn't use a solid block. Now, you can see that it uses block. Now, I haven't implemented it yet in this version. And also there is a variant, which is great because for any nerds out there, it's a generic class. Unlike the previous version that I have, that is working currently, it actually, I don't have to create a separate variant for block and item, so it's great. That's also why I, I decided to write everything from scratch is because of Python 3.12. Now here you have material. Basically, if block is a variant, all it means is that it can be of different types or like different textures. So for example, table can be oak, spruce, acacia, uh, dark oak, squirts, everything, all of that. So it's all generated automatically by my code. Currently not, but we're gonna do that later. So you have material, which solid all it means is that it extends wood. Now wood are the acacia, bamboo, cherry, all of that. You can just judge by the first column what it is. Now the second one is what the, te what the texture is called. Now the third one is what the texture for the secondary part of the model is called. So for example, if it's a drawer, it makes sense to have the doors be a different texture so that it's more con it adds more contrast. And then base is what material is used for the recipe. Now, so solid is also stone, deep set quartz, and all of the, these things as well. So if I wanted to add a new texture, I could just do it here. I don't have to go and create a new model, draw the texture, it's all generated. It's, it's all gonna be generated for me. Now I have base, all of, all of the rest is the same, except this block also uses block states. Also this is wrong, this should be base. And the reason it should be base is because you can see here that it's called base, right? So it's not a block. Now, block states is, are, now they used to be a lot different and I can show you how exactly they used to look. This is the previous version. And if I go to something that uses block states, it is this. So you have the name, which is the name of the model. And you can see it inside of the source, assets, uh, block, and then what is it? Is it it's a table. So inside of table you have east, north, single, south, surrounded, all of that. So you have north, you check that if there is a block. So basically all of the white things are the direction. And then the blue part, false, means that there is no block. True means that there is a block and none means that it doesn't matter. So if I go somewhere that is uses none, so it means that I don't care what's in front of the block, but if there is something in the back, in the left and in the right, then I'm gonna use uh, surrounded. So this is how it used to be. Now this took a lot of land. You can see just how much text this is. So I made it compact. I know this is maybe worse for someone, but basically the first line says what to check for. So self means that it only connects to tables. Now I can also make sort of like solid blocks. So it will only connect to solid blocks, but I've seen people review bubble Linux and they all thought that it would be better if tables only connected to themselves. So you have default, which is, which is how it looks like right here. Then you have the side, which is how it looks like right here. So it only has two legs. Then you have corner, only has one leg. And middle has no legs. Now, in here, I show you that it has all of these models. So these are uh, 10 models. Now compare this 
Okay, so now you can see that it's only four models, so I only have to make four models, so it's better because it's less. And then the syntax, so again, the name of the model that is used, as in this is just uh, more complicated, but if you and if you know how to translate it, it's easier. So the first character is whether there is something in front. Now it's going to be zero to mean false, one to mean true, and tilde to say that it doesn't care. So in this case, this is front, uh, back, left, right, up, and down. So it means that it doesn't care what's above or below the table. Now this is this stuff is optional. It means that rotates this model zero degrees. So since I replaced it, I replaced all of the variations of table having two legs, which is obviously on this side, on this side, so it's four sides. I just rotate it's 180 degrees, 90 degrees, minus 90 degrees. You have the same for corner. It only has to have one leg, one leg here, one leg here, one leg there. And middle, uh, basically if there is something in front and in the back, everything else doesn't matter. And if there is something on the left and the right, so basically it checks that there is something over here or over here. It doesn't care what's ever anywhere else, which is, and I haven't tested it yet, but it should be a more efficient way to check than to check all of the possible combinations that table can be surrounded with. And that's about it. Also there is block types, which I have added, which basically means that if, I, if there is something that copies some behavior, for example, all chairs you can sit on, and I don't want to copy paste the how I used to do, just copy paste everything, so it just uses a block type, and you can see that Right now it doesn't do anything, but it's like it's for the future. So you have shelf, which is the amount and the amount of shelves you have. So this is for cupboard and shelf. You have seat, which can have a width and the height of the hitbox. Then you have light, which can which basically used for blocks that emit light of certain level. And that's all the common types that I have right now. So this is just a very long document, almost 500 lines of all of these blocks for the furniture. But of course, I also have blocks for technology and they're shorter, but still 200 lines. So it's the ladder, right? If you want to see all of this, it says the ladder, the padlock block, rising door, pipe, right? All of these blocks are over here and now this is just this is convenient for me and for anybody who understands programming this is also should be pretty easy to add new blocks so all of this is defined here this is the big registry that adds all of the blocks you can see over here you can also see that I define a category so for example it's a furniture category inside of the bubble bench and I add a separator just to separate categories this way. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say system clear. So now it's gonna be clear. And we can see that it only shows some of the blocks. I don't print out all of them. And so this is where it all begins. I have also made this, which basically for every unit, you create a thread meaning that it's all done in parallel. It used to be all, like for every block, you have to create the copy, the models, register them, create all of the functions for placing, giving them, add them into bubble bench. Like all of this was pretty bad. So I made it in parallel. However, this should probably go somewhere else. So I'm just gonna add a new file here. I'm gonna call it a thread. Let py do this. Now it complains, so I can just add it uh, from typing. Also optional from typing, right? So all of this 
now go to main so i can just import it now here now i have to reset my language error because it's going to complain that it doesn't exist this is great this looks a bit cleaner now so this is what it prints out the trees so only the blocks that compile currently exist now the problem when we're creating things in parallel is that every single block not every block takes one model or one id so let's say for example bench can be id zero so it's the first one then you have table and the problem with tables is that they don't really take just one id they don't just one because there are many tables there are oak tables spruce tables etc and all of them have different variants so there is acacia side uh, or dark oak surrounded so it totals out to some amount x and then the next block needs to be x to y so because it may also have more than just one model so it's a problem but i solved it the way i do this is using math so for example bubble bench is only one so i don't know what, what this tool is so it's only one now however for table what you do is you take the amount of materials that it has for example tables have uh i think 20 materials and then you just multiply it by the amount of variations in this case it's these four variations so it's times four it's 80 so you know for a fact the tables are going to be from zero 280 or something or 79 and something around that so you know so this is how i do this you can see that unit id is zero then for every unit you allocate the id so this one bubble bench right so for example bubble bench starts off as zero now table so it goes back, it looks at the next one, next one is table. It asks table, how much are you gonna take? How much space are you gonna take? It, it says 80. So zero plus plus 80. I have also made so that it pretty prints it. So you have the name, you have the amount of models and then the IDs that it used. You can see that it used one from 80. This block used these IDs and it only needed two of them right so it, I, sh I hope it's gonna work again i haven't tested it yet but in theory it looks good and so yeah that's about it so now i need to actually compile it which is gonna happen inside of the internal now all i have here is category three which just contains uh all the functions loop tables advancements etc that I'm gonna, and then the bench registry is just what it's gonna be used for rendering all the items. 